The first images that undoubtedly come to mind when you think of Mexico are certainly a platter of mouth-watering tacos and stunning white sand. While Mexico's fame is in part due to its beaches and cuisine, there are a ton of other things to see and do in Mexico. So what more do you have to know? Welcome to Journeying. Whether you have already made travel plans to Mexico or are currently debating doing so, we'll provide you with the basics of Mexico from the best time to visit, must visit places, transportation, local cuisine, and more. So stay tuned till the end. Do you know that Mexico is home to the world's largest pyramid? Not Egypt, but Mexico. The largest pyramid in the world is the Cholula Pyramid, which is located in the Mexican federal state of Puebla. The Cholula Pyramid is essentially unseen despite its enormous size since it is tucked beneath the mountain. Section 1 Best Time to Visit and Weather Learn about the ideal time to visit, seasonal variations, and weather conditions. For you, we're planning to go to Mexico and wondering when would be the most ideal time for visiting. Here, we are providing the information for you. The peak tourist season in Mexico is from December to April, when the weather is generally sunny and dry. This period coincides with winter in North America, making it a popular time for travelers seeking a warm escape. Then there are transitional periods between high and low seasons, which can offer a great balance of pleasant weather and fewer crowds. Consider visiting during May, June, November, or early December. The months between July and October generally tend to be when you can score cheap accommodation prices as low season means rates can drop as much as 40%. September is considered one of the cheapest months to fly to the coastal areas and major cities in the south. Before we move on, hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Section 2 Getting Around Discover transportation options available such as airport, public transportation, taxes, or rental services. After knowing the best time, now one of the most effective ways to get around in Mexico. Plane, firstly planes. There are roughly 50 airports in Mexico that provide domestic and international flights, and it seems like practically every city has its own airport. The two airports that international planes most frequently fly at are in Mexico City and Cancun. However, San Jose del Cabo, Guadalajara, and Monterrey all receive a lot of international flights. Prioritize searching for low-cost flights from national airlines like Aeromexico, Inverjet, and Volaris, which often offer discounts on their websites. This can be a more affordable and faster alternative to long-distance bus travel. Buses. Then we have buses, which are a well-liked form of transportation in Mexico, where they connect numerous cities, villages, and even outlying regions via a wide network of routes. There are various bus kinds available, from opulent long-distance coaches with amenities to small buses known as Enceros or Combis. Reliable and comfortable services are provided by well-known bus operators like Adieu, Primera Plus, and ETN. Local buses and collectivos. Another alternative is local buses and collectivos. Local buses in Mexico are fast, noisy, and affordable, with route information displayed on the window or easily obtained by asking the driver, and passengers can flag them down anywhere along the route. While collectivos are passenger cars that serve the same purpose as neighborhood buses. Like local buses, the destinations are shown on windshield. The south is where collectivos are most common, especially in well-known tourist destinations like Oaxaca, Chiapas, and the Yucatan Peninsula. Metro. To get around in the city easily, we can use the extensive metro system in Mexico City. One of the biggest metro systems of the world, it links many communities and popular sites. There are metro systems in other cities, including Guadalajara and Monterrey. However, their reach may be less extensive. Taxi next. Taxes in the majority of Mexico's regions lack meters. Before you get in, let the driver know where you are and he will offer you a fare. Give him a piece of paper with your destination written on it and a pencil. If you don't speak Spanish, to ensure safety and avoid haggling, it's recommended to have the hotel front desk call a taxi or use services like Uber or Beat in many areas of Mexico. Driving cars are a common form of transportation in Mexico since you may choose your own schedule and are not dependent on anybody else's. If you have a valid driver's license and in most situations a credit card, you can rent a car. However, you must first purchase Mexican insurance. If you plan to drive your car from the US, insurance and a temporary import permit are required. Section 3 Accommodation Find information on hotels, resorts, or other accommodation options suitable for different budgets and preferences. Let's move to the next section. Because there are so many hotels in Mexico, it can be challenging to pick the best one. Here, we're here to offer you hotel recommendations in Mexico City's top three neighborhoods. Almost any kind of visitor will find Roma to be one of the nicest and most well-liked areas. For youthful travelers who want to dance at night and drink mimosas at noon, 
Rona is a fantastic location. The hotels for you could be Stanza Hotel, Hotel Marbella, Brick Hotel Mexico City. The other neighborhood is Polanco. Polanco is filled with high-end shopping, fancy cocktail bars, and some of the world's best restaurants. Our recommendations for you are Intercontinental President Mexico City, The Wild Oscar, and Sweets Kepler. After that, we have Coyoacan, which is the quiet, artsy place among Mexico City's neighborhoods. It shares many of the same qualities that make Roma and Condesa shine, but because it's farther away, it has a more calm and relaxed atmosphere. Some suggestions are La Casita de Coyoacan, Mansion Papilio, and Suites Pariser Apartamentos of New Blados. Section 4 Local Cuisine Explore the diverse culinary scene and must try dishes, including local specialties and popular restaurants. Here comes the next part Mexico's food specialties. Mexican food includes a variety of meals and is renowned for its vibrant flavors and fresh ingredients. From the delicious street tacos stuffed with juicy meats and topped with fiery salsas to the aromatic and complex mole sauces that adorn traditional dishes, you could indulge in the creamy richness of guacamole produced from perfectly ripened avocados. Experience the comforting warmth of pozole, a hearty soup made with hominy and tender pork, and taste tamales wrapped in corn husks. The cuisine also boasts regional specialties such as Yucatecan cochinita pibdol, Oaxican leyudas, and pupilin chiles and nogada, each offering a distinct culinary experience. Surely don't miss out on these dishes when you're in Mexico. Section 5 Top Attractions Discover the must-visit places and popular tourist attractions in the destination. We have pretty much talked about Mexico, but haven't dived into its popular places. So now it's the time to dive in. We provide you the top five places in Mexico. Here they are. Mexico City, this vibrant capital city, is a treasure trove of cultural and historical landmarks. You can explore the ancient ruins of Teotihuacan, have a sight at the magnificent architecture of the Metropolitan Cathedral, visit the Frida Kahlo Museum, and wander through the bustling markets of Coyoacan. If you are a beach lover, don't miss out on Cancun and the Riviera Maya. Cancun is a popular destination for sun-seeking travelers known for its white sand beaches and turquoise waters. Additionally, the Riviera Maya offers stunning coastal scenery, world-class snorkeling and diving opportunities, and access to the ancient Mayan ruins of Tulum and Chichen Itza. Then we have Oaxaca. This colonial city in southern Mexico is renowned for its rich indigenous culture and culinary delights. Here you may explore the charming historic center, visit the impressive Mont Alban archaeological site, and savor the mouth-watering flavors of Oaxacan food. Mexico also has a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Guanajuato, that exudes charm with its colorful colonial architecture and winding alleyways. You may discover the impressive underground streets, visit the iconic Halijan del Beso, or known as Alley of the Kiss, and attend the lively Cervantino Festival, a renowned international arts and culture event. Last but not least, Puerto Vallarta, located on Mexico's Pacific coast, offers a perfect blend of beach relaxation and cultural experiences. You can get the chance to stroll along the charming Malacan boardwalk, explore the cobblestone streets of the Zona Romantica, and take a boat trip to the nearby Marianas Islands. Section 6 Festivals and Unique Events Learn about vibrant festivals and unique events that showcase the local culture and traditions. Apart from its unique places, Mexico has its own unique celebration too. Are you familiar with the film Coco in which they celebrate the death of their beloved ones? It is one of the most famous festivals in Mexico called Dia de los Huertos, also known as the Day of the Dead. Celebrated on November 1st and 2nd, this vibrant and colorful festival honors and remembers loved ones who have passed away. During Dia de los Muertos, families create elaborate altars called ofrendas decorated with marigolds, photographs, favorite foods, and other mementos of their departed loved ones. Streets come alive with parades, music, dances, and people dressed in traditional costumes, including the iconic sugar skull face paint. The festival is a joyful celebration of life and death, with a deep cultural significance that has gained international recognition and fascination. Oaxaca and Mexico City are particularly renowned for their elaborate and elaborate Day of the Dead celebrations. Section 7 Hidden Gems Uncover lesser-known off-the-beaten-path spots or attractions that offer a unique and authentic experience. Then, this is the part you've been waiting for, a hidden gem that many people don't know about. 
One hidden gem in Mexico is the town of Bacalar, located in the state of Quintana Roo. Bacalar is often referred to as the Lake of Seven Colors due to the stunning shades of blue that can be seen in its pristine freshwater lagoon known as Laguna Bacalar. This quiet hideaway provides a tranquil and off-the-beaten-path experience away from the more popular tourist spots in the area. By kayak or boat, visitors can explore the lagoon and find secret coves, notes, and even an ancient pirate fort. The region is also abundant in wildlife, making it a fantastic location for ecotourism and birdwatching. Bacalar's charming town center is home to colorful colonial buildings, a relaxed atmosphere, and excellent regional food. It's the ideal vacation spot for individuals who enjoy the outdoors, the water, and peace in the midst of spectacular natural beauty. Overall, you have gained the basic guide on things to do in Mexico. Mexico offers you a fascinating experience that you won't soon forget. Whether you choose to explore historical landmarks, relax on its beaches, or try their amazing cuisine. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel tips.